I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, hi, Nuri. How are you? Everything good? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm okay. Thank you. All right. Nice to see you. All right. Nice to see you, too. How was work today? I already went for a walk. You already went for a walk? Yeah. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. How about you? You know, it's, it's been, I, I've been pretty busy, to be honest. Uh, I went to sleep at 3 a.m. tomorrow, I mean, yesterday. So, <laughs> yeah. It's here. Uh, so, can you hear me? Mm, sounds you, you can't. bad. Uh, can you hear me well now? Uh, yeah. Okay, right. I don't know. Um, Hi, Rafael. How are you, Frank? Can you, Hi, can you guys can you guys hear me well, guys? Can you hear me yes. well, Rafael? All right, no problem. All right. No problem. No problem. What about now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. All yeah. right. Very good. All right. So, um, anyways, guys, uh, good to see you, Frank. Welcome back, Frank. Nice to see you. All right. Um. So, Rafa, how how was how was work today? I'm actually uh, entering home. Uh, everything okay? The traffic it was very light. Can you say light, teacher? It was very. You, it, I I traveled through the Bio de Pico. Oh really? It, yes. So it was really empty. <laughs> I really? live in Santa Ana. Oh okay. So I, I I drive every day to San Salvador. Really? Okay. But today, tonight was really nice. Nice traffic. <laughs> As well. You mean really? I mean, nice traffic, or or was you mean that it was it was really bad, or you? No, actually... no, I'm not being ironic. <laughs> oh, you're not. It being really, ironic. it really was a, a a nice traffic. It really was nice. You mean? Yes. It was okay, because nice. they okay. All right, awesome. That's good. You know. <laughs> That's that's one of the thing that that's one of the reasons I would never leave uh, live there because because of the traffic. You know, I I can't stand the traffic. That that would be hard. I know, I know. My right. wife too. That doesn't doesn't stand it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's incredible. You know. Anyways, guys, so let's get started. Thank you for being early, guys. Right. Um, what happened to everybody else? Getting my All right. <laughs> Marcos, welcome, Marcos. Adrian, how are you guys? Everything good? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Hello, good everyone. Hello, Adrian. Hello. All right, guys, so hold on. What happened to everybody else? Anyways. All right, so uh, guys, so we were talking about past perfect yesterday, okay? So what do we use past perfect for, guys? Let's see if you remember. Hey, guys, did you finish the exercise? Did you finish the exercises yesterday? In my case, no, teacher. <laughs> Why not? Okay, all right. Because I, I missed the class last night. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, guys, so let's let's solve them together, okay? All right, since you already solved them, guys, or you were supposed to solve them, okay? All right. So let's backtrack a little bit, guys, okay? All right. So Nuri, what would be the answer for the first one? So how would you rewrite the first sentence? The first sentence. Uh, she did her homework. Then she went to bed. Did, did you do the exercise yesterday? Did you finish them? I think so. All right. Look for them, all right? And then uh, I'll have Santos. Santos, go ahead. What will be the first one? Well, the example here is she did her homework. Then she went to bed. And the first action was uh, she did her homework. Yes. And the right answer would be she had done her homework then she went to bed 
Okay. The remember that you're gonna use guys, okay, before or after, right? So she did so she had done her homework. She had done her homework before she went to bed, guys. Okay. She had done her homework before she went to bed, right? That would be the right answer. Is that what you had? Uh, Nuri? Thank you, Santos. Is that is, is this what you had, Nuri? <laughs> okay, right. Did you did you do them or not? Los hizo no 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 los hizo. No, okay. All right, very good. Uh, Rafa, you didn't write. Marcos, did you finish them? No, I didn't do okay. it. Okay, but I can maybe do the right. number two. Guys, guys, I do need you. We cannot move, guys. No podemos movernos, guys. Right, right now. If you don't finish this, because I need you to understand this part, okay? So I need you to finish them, guys. Uh, I'm gonna get you into the breakout sessions right now. I'll give you exactly 10 minutes. Van a tener 10 minutos, guys, para terminar de resolver los todos, okay? All right, got it? I need you to solve, guys, the first image that I sent mm -hmm. and the second one, la primera y la segunda, okay? Got it, guys? All right, so for whoever didn't come to class yesterday, guys, okay, try to help each other, all right? And uh, let's solve it together, okay? Que no vino ayer, guys, okay? Uh, Pregúntele con quien está participando so you can help each other, okay? Las imágenes, guys, so everything has been sent to the WhatsApp group, okay? El ejercicio uno y el dos, guys, están en la en WhatsApp group, okay? Got it? David, okay. welcome, David. All right, let's go, guys. Hi, Marcos. Hello, Rafa. How are you doing? Hi, right, guys. Uh, hey, Marcos. I nice to see so. you again. Hey, uh, did, you, did, you, did you find the image? Did you find the, the, the exercise? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Very yes. Good. Thank you. Very good. Okay, let's start. Okay. Let's try to explain, okay? Because uh, okay. to move to move to uh, to move on to the next topic, guys, you need to understand this first, okay? Para okay. Que nos vamos a ver el siguiente yes. ejercicio, que necesito que entiendan esto, okay? All right. Yes. So let's finish this. Okay. Hello. Hey, did you did, Hi, did you guys finish the exercises? Uh, no. Yes, but he he didn't he came. Yes, he didn't come yesterday. Okay, right. I so, had hey, what happened yesterday, David? Uh, I I I had an issue, and so I can connect to the class. The soccer game? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, please let me know when you can't come to class. Okay. Okay. All right, very good. Um, you guys, did you finish the exercises? No. No, no maybe you can I can't come to class yesterday and I am what happened I yesterday, Maylin? I working because oh, okay. in, in this moment I can come because I um I go to the office. I today. went I went to the office. I went to the office okay um, today good. and tomorrow too. Okay and it's hard today my work because one co-worker is is enfermo sick sick for covid oh okay got it yeah i got you got you no it, it's okay right just just uh thank you for letting me know all right adrian did you come yesterday be honest with you teacher i didn't come sorry all right, so you don't know what we're gonna do right now, do you? All right, I I'll don't teacher, just give me a, a little I'll, bit. I'll, I'll, I'll explain it to you real quick, okay? All right, I'll explain it to you real quick, all right? Um, guys, if you don't come, watch the class, okay? Because okay. the thing, guys, is that, that we have another topic for today. I mean, it's related but, to the same topic, but the thing is that if you don't understand this, guys, you're not gonna understand the rest. Si no entienden esta parte, no van a estar perdidísimos, guys, en la clase de all right, so we were talking about past perfect, okay? What I need you to do here, all right? What I needed to do here, guys. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go back.
what so happened. Guys, guys, I was right. joining the meeting. What, what happened? It's 10 seconds. Uh, more people, more people are coming in, guys. So I need uh, to, okay. to increase the. <laughs> I need to to uh, increase the size of the rooms. Now, guys, a lot of you didn't come yesterday. So the thing, guys, is that if you didn't come yesterday and you didn't watch the class, guys, you will you you don't have any idea what we're gonna do right now. Okay. So uh, it's very important, guys, that you watch the classes. So I came back here, guys. We came back here because I will re-explain to you real quick what we're doing, okay? So pay attention, guys, because this okay. is something that you are supposed to know from the class from yesterday, okay? So we're talking about past perfect, okay? I'll just give you the example, then you have to figure it out on your own, okay? So past perfect talks about, all right, who, uh, let's see who was here yesterday. Um, Hey, where is the rest? Like people who came yesterday are not here today. Ingrid, you were here yesterday, or Santos, okay? Tell me, what do we use past perfect for? Real quick. We use it for express uh, an action that passed uh, first, the first action. Right? Happened, right. not passed. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> that happened. Okay. An action in the past before another action in the past, guys, got it? All right, in other words, like this, okay, you have the past here, right? Let's say that this is the, the present, okay? Okay, this is the present, this is the past, okay? So there was an action here and there was another action here. This is present, per this is past perfect, right? So it says, the first example says, guys, she did her homework, then she took, the, then she went to bed. We have simple past, right? And what is the other the other sentence? I mean, what is the other? Yeah, what is the other sentence? And guys, and what tense is it? She went to bed. What what tense is that? Simple past. Simple past, right? Very good. So we have two simple past, right? Because why are they in the past, guys? Because they both happened in the past, right? Got it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. So now. Past perfect, you know, but this is too complicated, guys, because we have two sentences, right? This sounds like she did her homework, then she went to bed, you know? We have two sentences here. To avoid that, you can use past perfect. Now, which action happened first? She did her homework or this, uh, or her going to bed? What was the action that happened? She did her homework. Okay, right. Action number one was she did her homework, right? And action number two, she went to bed, all right? So far, so good? Yes. Yeah. Right. Very good. All right. Very good. So now, guys, it's like this, right? This is where she did homework, right? Homework. Let's pretend that, that, that it was, I don't know, guys. Let's say that it was 12, you know what, 1 p.m., okay? All right. No, no, no. The 6 p.m., all right? And then at uh, 7 p.m., all right? She went to bed, okay? So what you're going to do, guys, is that you're going to use the words either, you know, before, after, or what was the other one? Um, what was the other one, Santos? Be um, before, then? No, not mm. then. Not then, guys. No. All right, let's focus in, on before and after, okay? Let's use those two words, okay? So you can say, guys, right? So the sentence could be like this, right? <clears throat> she Maybe. had done, right? Um, the by the time, be, yeah. Right. So she had done her by the time, right? Exactly, right? So you can use by the time. By the time, guys, is, right? That's another thing that you can use, okay? Anyway, so she, she, so the first action, guys, will be in simple, I mean, in past perfect, okay? The first action will be in what tense, guys? Past perfect. Past perfect. Past perfect okay? She had done her homework, okay? Now, she did it before or after she went to bed? Before. Before, right? Before oh. she went to bed, okay? There you go, guys. You have two actions, one happening right after the other, okay? All right, let me make this bigger, guys, right? The structure, I think somebody sent the structure, guys, to the WhatsApp group, so all the information is there, right? So she had done her homework, okay? 
and then let's use the the word before and then let's use the other clause right before hold on let me put it again so we're going to do it like this okay so she had done her homework right and then we're going to use the word before here before and then she went to bed okay where do these come from guys okay so she right so this comes from here right so this comes from you know she did her homework right so this this comes from two sentences right and then you know you have she went to bed right so you have two sentences here, all right? And this, guys, okay, I this uh, right here is then, right? Or you can you can put it like this, okay? Then she went to bed, all right? So this part right here, guys. The point here is that this part over here comes from this sentence all right and this part over here comes from this and this guys comes from this got it so one so you have right here guys you have you have uh, two sentences and simple past and here guys you have all right uh, you have a uh, past perfect right Past perfect, hold on. past perfect, and simple past combined. All right, is that understood, guys? Yes. Now, I explained this yesterday, guys, so I'm not going to re explain it again, right? Um, so, this is what you're going to do with the exercise, guys, okay? You're going to transform everything into past perfect, okay? Do we have any questions? Yeah, could you please uh, make an, an example with by the time? Yeah, you can say the same thing. You can say, you can say, for example, um, she had done her homework. By the time she went to she went to bed so you can do this you know all right basically by the time means you. you know para cuando right ella había hecho su, su tarea para cuando se fue a la cama got it all right by the time got you it. know her mother came home para cuando su mamá llegó a la casa ella había hecho su tarea got it so cool. basically guys it's like saying you know before right it's another synonym of before Yes, does it make sense? Yes, yes, right. thank you. All right, guys, so this, we explained this yesterday, guys. So uh, I don't know if you took a screenshot, guys. Do you want to take a screenshot? If you want to take a screenshot, go ahead and send it to the okay. group, right? Ready? Ready. All right, very good. So let's finish this exercise, okay? Let's go. 10 minutes, guys. At 8.30, we're going to start with the next topic, okay? All right. So let us go. Hold on. Recreate. Let's go, guys. All right, guys. Is it understood now? Do we know what we're going to do? Okay, teacher. All right, you gotta do the two exercises, okay? That that you have on the WhatsApp group. Okay. Hey. Hello, Ingrid. Hi. How are you? Fine, and you? We're fine, thanks. Okay, let's do that. Guys, let's do my favor. If you took a screenshot, could you please send it to the WhatsApp group? Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.
Mm. Vamos a tomar yo. Okay, and the first uh, exercise. Just so they uh, we start. I, I already sent the, the image, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, Ingrid. Okay, okay. Uh, let, you were saying the number two, right? Number two, uh, I have, we had seen our friends before we went home. Sorry, I, I didn't hear you. You say? I say, we had seen. We had seen? Our, our friends. Our friends. Before. After. Oh no, before we before he felt happy. Before no. after no. after 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 he felt happy. Okay. After he felt happy. He felt happy. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Okay, number four. Went. We went, we have went home? Mm -mm. No. No, but why, but why not? Why not? No. No, no it's, it, yeah, it's incorrect, we... but, but why is it incorrect? Por qué es incorrecto? What is the structure? Uh, go on. The, 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 the verb yes. in the yes. past perfect no is when. It's not. Don't, don't say gone. no is. It's not. Okay. It's, it's gone. Not. Uh -huh. right. The past participle is it's gone. It's gone. Yes. yes. All right. That says we have gone. Yes, I am. How are you doing, guys? <clears throat> What? Uh, is made in this made word by the uh, my, my... All right. After I have gone, yes. After I had gone to London, I visit up for so what is it? I'm sorry. When when As, after I had gone to London. I visited Oxford. Shouldn't be, shouldn't it be the other way around? Sorry. So shouldn't it be like I had visited Oxford before I went to London? No, because it was after first okay, right. was London. All right. All right. Very good. After I had to London, I had to London. Okay. I have. Are you ready for the next one? Oxford. Oxford. A. Okay. Yeah. Five. They. They took some photos. They took they, some photos, they, then they left. Okay. They... They have taken... Very good. Some photos by the time they left. All right, you can say that, yeah. Or you can say they had taken some photos before they left. Before they left, yeah. Okay. A six, my number six. 
the first I bought the ticket, then I went into the cinema. The first possible is about to write. I have bought the ticket. before I went into the cinema. I have, yes, I have, I have all the ticket. First, first, first I have. It's not necessary to say first no. try. No. No, you don't need to say that. Yeah. I mean, you can, but it's not necessary. No. Good job, guys. Okay. How are you doing here, guys? Um, I think that's the big problem is the, the handle of the past participle, the verbs, I think. That you but, need to learn more past participles? Uh, yeah, I think the the, the, the practice. Be, be, uh, for example, went gone. Yes. Uh, take taken. Yes. So uh, that's. I think that's the common difficult. All right, that's that's all right. Just just Google them, right, and then you'll find. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, is it the same verb? No change. Both. Okay. Both. The oh. ticket. First, I had bought the ticket before I went to. I went. I went in the cinema. I went into the cinema. Okay. Okay. Now we have the second part. Complete the past, simple past, but four of the pairs in the brackets by the time of when. Okay. Okay, it's okay. The number one, the number one. No, only read, only read. She have, she have. She's, we have so a friend. We have it wrong. Okay, Pam had a raise. The blackboard before the teacher checked all the exams. And can you can you repeat, please? Let me check something like this. Great. Okay. Okay, I think that's this uh, for number one. Pam had erased the blackboard before the teacher checked the, all the exams. Okay. David, when we use this uh, verb, for example, check, check out, I, I I hear sometimes in all the conversations, check out. Check out is is to to um, be interested in seeing something and seeing it for the first time. Like you're you're calling your friend and you want your friend to check something, you know, check what you're seeing out, right? So that is check out. To check something is is um, review. Comparison. I mean, you can say check this, right? 
Uh, it's it's very similar actually. Okay, uh, so you can say it depends on the context and what you're using, it, you know. But you cannot use it. Uh, you can say, for example, you know, uh, check this out, right? Like saying like, hey, mira esto, right? That that's pretty much the meaning, okay? And if I say you need to check this, right? That means that tenés que revisar. Got it? Mm. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. Oh, I have those um, chickens. Okay. Gone. All right, guys. So how are we doing? The the number, the number, number five, five of, of the second exercise. Okay, good, 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 good. It has started to rain when Mary uh, left, but or or, or, or or it's another auxiliary, or only left. No, when Mary had left. No, left. Okay. Left. When Mary left the school. One one question here. The first one we say Pam had a race or, or only a race? Had a race. Had a race. Had a race. Mm -hmm. Raise the, black the blackboard board. before the teacher check all the exams. All the exams, yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're finished. <laughs> all right, very good, good job. All right, it's time to go back. Okay. All right, guys, welcome back. So, uh, very quick, guys. What is this? Okay. All right. So, let's see what you got here. All right, guys, number one. So what we what would we do for number one? Go ahead. She had done her homework before she went to bed. Okay, her homework. Okay. Before she went to bed. Good job. Okay. All right. Another person. Give me number two, please. Go ahead. Another we have person. seen we have seen our friends before we went home. Our friends before we went home. Very good. Okay. Good job. All right, very good. Uh, another person, number three. After he, after he had run his parents, he felt happy. After, right? After he had what? Wrong. Wrong, wrong, uh, wrong his parents. Coma, he? He felt happy. He felt happy. Okay, very good. All right, that, that is good. Um, you can say he felt happy after he had wronged his parents too, okay? That would be okay, all right? Uh, another person, okay, I need number four. After I, I have... Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Angry, go ahead. I have gone to London. I have? I have gone. I have gone to London. Before I visit Oxford. Before I what? Visit. Before With I visited, very good. Oxford, good job. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good job, all right. Uh, very good, guys. Uh, number, well, it's just they took some, the number five. I don't know what happened to the number there. I'm sorry. Number five. They have taken some photos before they left. Some photos before they left. Good job, all right? Very good. Uh, David, number six, David. Um, first, I had bought the ticket after I went into the cinema. I had bought the tickets after I went into the cinema. After or before, guys? 
what happened first? Did you go to the movies first? Fuiste a ver la película primero y después compraste los tickets. Um, sorry, before. Before. Before, uh -huh. before I went to the cinema, right? Very good. Good job. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. And applause for you guys. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Good job. All right. You understood. All right. This one, guys. Uh, did you finish this one? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. So just give me the, the answer. Just the answer. Had erased. Okay. Very good. So had erased. Okay, he raised. Okay, very good. Number two. Checked. Checked. Teacher. ED, ED at the end. Checked. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, well, number two now. I'm sorry. Number two. Had done. Had uh, done. Very good. Number, well, next one. Return. Returned. Okay, very good. Number three. I finished it. Had finished. Finished, guys, with a T at the end. Finished. Okay. Uh, and next one. All right. All right. Arrived. Very good. Okay. Uh, number four. Got. Got. Uh, what? Uh, by the time kid. Got. Hot. The boss, no, no, guys. What happened first? Did she get to the bus stop or, or, I mean, what happened first? She get into the bus stop or the bus already leaving? The bus has already left. Okay. So by the time Keith got to the bus stop, the bus, right? The bus already left. Had already left. Had already left. Okay. Had already left. Okay. Good job. Uh, number five, I can't see the rest, but it says it blah blah start to rain when Mary leaves school. All right, well, what is number five? Had start, started, it had started, started what? To rain when Mary it has started to rain when Mary left, left. right? School, yeah, left. Very good, good job, guys. Excellent, All right? Good job, all right. You guys are good. All right, guys. So, good job. So, the next part, guys, that we're gonna learn is negatives. Okay, uh, we're not gonna dedicate too too long, uh, too much time here, guys, because because you should know already what how to make the structure of a negative, I mean, of a positive sentence, right? Now, in negative form, guys, what we have, all right, the only thing that you have to do, guys, is add the particle. Not not okay very good so for example right instead of, instead of saying i had been you say i have not been i had I not been. been right I had not or been. you can say i hadn't been i hadn't been. okay got it guys simple right got it. instead of saying you had gone you will say you had not gone you had not gone okay so instead of saying she had met, you're going to say? She had not met. Or she hadn't met. She now, had, guys, let me give you a tip, okay? Do you want to speak more American, guys? All right. Obviously, right? So. All right. All right. So, guys, when you speak, guys, you should use contractions, okay? When you write a formal paper, guys, this is when you speak, okay? This is when you talk right you should you should use contractions when you write formal papers or when you send emails all right you must not use contractions okay all right i repeat so si vos estás escribiendo digamos un ensayo o si estás escribiendo tu tesis okay en inglés no debes usar contracciones all right Si estás escribiendo un email formal en una compañía, no debes usar contracciones tampoco. Got it? If you're chatting on WhatsApp, guys, nadie, a nadie le importa cómo escribes, right? <laughs> right? So, uh, so then you can use it when you write it. Now, if you're, let's say that you're writing a novel, you know, estás escribiendo una novela, y necesitas poner la conversación en la novela entre dos personas, ahí sí puedes. Got it? 
So you can use it there, okay? But anyways, so if it is formal writing, guys, right? If it is formal writing, you shouldn't be using contractions. If it is, you know, speaking, you should use contractions, okay? All right, got it? Very good. So, uh, so the same thing here, guys, okay? He had played, you're going to use not, okay? In the middle, guys, right? He hadn't played, okay? So you do the same thing with everything else. So for example, guys, let's use uh, let's use a real life example, okay? All right, guys, have I played Pictionary with you? Oh no, I haven't, right? No, no, well, no, Pictionary. no, no. All right, very good. Who's a good Who's a good drawer? Who's a good drawer, guys? Can I can le gusta dibujar? Can así como rápido dibujando? Who's a good drawer? Nobody. Yeah. Who? Nobody? Nobody? All right. I, I'm actually going to have, let's see, let's, let's play, guys, okay? All right, we're just going to do this uh, three times, okay? So you're going to guess, guys, somebody's going to draw, for example, uh, I'm going to do this, right? Not, not me, guys, okay, but let's say that, 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 that you know, I, I do this, okay? So uh i do this and you have to guess who this person is right oh okay you're gonna say oh that's donald trump right all right so donald trump and then you're gonna give me an example okay right so before donald trump became president okay he hadn't studied anything right so see this is an example of using of using uh, a sentence, guys, in real life, right? He hadn't studied it, or he hadn't, I don't know, guys, whatever, right? He hadn't, what? He hadn't talked to, uh, to hadn't... anybody from the Congress, okay? Antes de que mm -hmm. Donald Trump se volviera presidente, no había hablado con ninguna persona del Congreso. Got it? All right. I'm sorry, Adrian. Uh, I interrupted you. Tell me, what was it? He hadn't get into the White House. He hadn't gotten into the White House. Okay? He hadn't gotten gotten that's into fine. the White House. Yes. All right. Yeah, that's the, you know, Donald, you can say Donald Trump, right? Donald Trump hadn't gotten into the White House. And what else, guys? What else? Before, Before he became president, right? Person. Very good. Okay, so see? All right, so this is what you're going to do, guys. Okay, you're going to use the example. Whoever draws, guys, okay? Quien sea que dibuje, all right? Me va a hacer una oración, guys, okay? I'm sorry. Whoever guesses, whatever the other person is, 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 get, is drawing, okay, is going to give me an example with... Actually, you're all going to give an example, right? But you're going to give an example guys, in negative form, okay? Got it? Okay. All right, very good. We're also going to talk, before we do that, guys, okay? We're also going to talk about questions, okay? And the way we make questions, guys, is very similar, all right? Uh, I would recommend you guys to take a screenshot or write this down, guys, okay? Because this one. All right. To make questions, guys, to make W questions, we put the question word where? The beginning. At the beginning. At the beginning, okay? So we put it at the beginning, guys, okay? All right, the question word should be at the beginning, okay? All of these guys are question words. When, why, where, when, you know the question words, right? Now, what comes after the question word, guys, is the, how do we call this? The auxiliary. That is auxiliary. Now, after the auxiliary, you're gonna use the subject and then the verb, okay? So the structure, guys, for a question looks like this, okay? So you have you have a uh, wh word plus what else, guys? What else do we have? Auxiliary. auxiliary. All right, we auxiliary. have a wh word plus an auxiliary. The auxiliary had right plus had. Subject. Let's use had. Okay, then we have, then we the have the, the subject, very good. So then we have, hold on. So then we have the subject, right? 
Then what else, guys? Verb in past perfect. Okay, so then we have the verb. What has she? Okay, verb in past participle. Past participle. Okay. And then we have. We have uh, the compliment, right? The compliment plus a question mark, right? And then you have the question mark at the end, right? So this is how you create a question, guys, in past perfect. So, for example, guys, you can say, you can say, hey, you know, uh, what has she done before she came, she became an artist, okay? What has she done before she came? She became an artist. Now, after you do this, guys, okay, use, use, uh, I forgot to add something here, guys, okay? After you do this, guys, okay, use simple past, okay? Uh, a question, uh, use a, a sentence in simple past, got it? So you're gonna use before or after, guys, okay? All right, you can add the word before here, right? Before or after, guys, she became present, okay? So it is, basically, guys, it's the same thing. The only thing is that you're going to use the WH word and the position of the auxiliary changes, just like with every other verb. Got it? All right, very okay. good, guys. So let's play, guys, okay? Just we're going to do this three times, guys, because of the time. All right, but let's play, okay? So who wants to draw, guys? I need a volunteer. It doesn't matter, guys. I'm going to give you access to my computer so you can infect me with viruses and take control of my credit card and everything, right? So who wants to draw, guys? Okay. Ingrid. Who? Oh, Francisco. All right, Francisco. Let's try it, Frank. All right, so Francisco will infect my computer with viruses. Thank you, Francisco. All right, Frank. Uh, hold on. Uh, remote control. Francisco. All right, Francisco, you have access to my computer. Please check if you can draw. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Right. Very good. So Francisco, I'm going to send you a message to the WhatsApp group. You're going to draw it and everybody else has to guess. Okay. Todo mundo tiene que adivinar qué es lo que está dibujando. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. So you are going to draw something beautiful. All right. Hold on. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I cannot use Dua Lipa. Sorry. <laughs> She is beautiful. All right. Um, all right, you got it? Oh, no, Santos, I sent it to your old number. <laughs> yes, I don't have. OK, all right. Hold on. Hold on. Go, 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 go. <laughs> You cannot speak, okay? Okay. All right, let's go. Right, everybody else, guys, right? You have to you have to step in, okay? You have to participate. We're not trying anything. You are not drawing. Try it again. Try it again. All right, let's guess, guys. Okay, I want everybody participating. This looks like Goku. Cloud. All right, so David says it's a cloud. What do you think? Mm -hmm. It's not a cloud. Hello Kitty. No, it's not Hello Kitty. Hey, you have to say your name, guys. You have to say your name, okay? Because otherwise I don't know who's talking. Mozart? No, it's not. <laughs> Mozart. Okay. No, Moser. It's a person. It's a what? It's a what? A woman? Okay, I don't know. It might be a woman. Albert Einstein. <laughs> no, it's not Albert Einstein. That does look like Albert Einstein, though. Cinderella. No, it's not Cinderella. <laughs> Doña Florinda. You said you said beautiful. No, it's not Doña Florinda. It's a famous. 
Oh my god, guys, guys, it should be easy. <laughs> oh Jesus. Santa Claus. Is Dora la exploradora? No, it's not Dora the Explorer. No. It's what? I don't know what the name is. No, it's not. It's not the Joker. Najib. No. <laughs> Guys, this should be super easy. You know this person. He had beard. You're super slow. <laughs> David Fisher. David? It is, yes. David okay, Peter. right. You got it. Okay, good job, all right? Who is it? All right, it's me. Right? I said something beautiful, right? Very good, right? All right, very good, guys. So, all right, so, uh, so David. Okay, David. Give an example, David. All right, let's go. Um, uh, before, before David had... Uh, have taught English. Okay, had taught uh, English. English, uh huh. Uh, he he worked in a in a call center. Okay, very good. So there will be comma or comma, guys. Comma, 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 right? Comma. He worked at a call center. Good job. Okay. So before David had taught English, he had he worked at a call center. Right. Good job. Very good. I right. thank you, David. All right, good job. Yep. Plus for David, guys, and applause for Santos. Thank you, guys. Okay. All right, do you want to do another one, guys? Of course, right? All right, Santos. Okay, right. I'm gonna do something easy for Santos because he takes like two years to draw something. Hold on. All right. Does anybody else want to draw, guys? By the way, no. I right, have to give me one sentence in negative form, guys. Okay. So let's see, Santos, you're gonna draw. Got it? Let's Got go, it. Santos. All right, let's go. Okay. Yes. A fish. No, it's not a fish. I will. Uh, well. A lake. What? A hole. Lake. A hole. A lake. No, it's not a lake. No. Hold on, I'm gonna move this out of the way. All right, let's go. Jacuzzi. A balloon. No, it's not a balloon. It's not a jacuzzi. No. Volcano. It's not a volcano. No, it's not a volcano. It's a kite. Uh, it's not a kite. A bomb. This is the word. Okay, right. Uh, this Ice. Is... This some. Oh my god, dude! What the hell is that? <laughs> I know why you're confused, guys. But this, this should have been super easy. But I don't. It's I... a bird. It's not a bird. No. It's a a seal. A horse. No, no, no. It's a not dog. a chicken or a chicken a or a horse. It's not a seal, no. It's a chair. It's a chair. No, it's not a chair. It's a cow. It's a I'm cow. Sorry, right? Who said that? Who said cow, guys? Cow, cow. That's, oh, oh my God. And who said that, guys? Can't even know. Who said it? Who guessed? Me. Me again. Oh, David again? Dude, yes. okay. Right. I don't know how you guessed that because that didn't look like a cow at all. Okay, Francisco, you're fired. <laughs> I'm kidding, right? No, all right, very good. Okay, right, David, pick someone, David. Actually, okay. guys, you know what? Give me an example, guys. Give me an example with a cow. Everybody, okay? So I want, I want, uh, I'm gonna decline just because of the time, David. But we're gonna, we can play again uh, next week, guys, okay? Okay. So everybody send me an example, guys, with a cow right now, okay? A negative example, okay? In the chat. Before we leave, guys, let's let's have that extra. I mean, that that example, okay?
So how do you like the activity, guys? Nice. All right. Yeah, we, we should have had more time. Nice. Yeah. But, you know, you didn't come yesterday. So that's it. <laughs> All right, let's see. So I got, I need everybody, guys. Okay, everyone. All right, everyone. Marcos, uh, the cow hadn't eaten by the time the farmer milked her. Very good. I like that example. It, it makes sense. Okay. Uh, I had not taken milk before I had left, before I left home. Okay. I had not drank, uh, I have not uh, drunk milk. I mean, you can say taken, but it sounds better if you say drunk. Uh, the cow hadn't eaten all day. So you're missing one part there, uh, Nuri. Okay, uh, you're missing the simple past part. Okay, David the cow had eaten grass after he, she went. Remember, guys, I want negative examples, right? Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, I had not fed the cow after I went to play soccer. Good job. Okay, I'm still missing. Uh, I think I'm missing Nuri. I'm missing your example. Uh, Ernesto, I think I'm missing your example. All right. Rafael, he hadn't, he hadn't uh, droned, okay, droned, that, that the, the past participle is different, Rafael, okay, it's, it's a, it's a, it's an irregular verb, okay, yeah, drawn, exactly, okay, okay, he hadn't drawn a ni nice cow, okay, uh, cow had not produced, produced uh, milk before she ate, okay, good job, uh, Ingrid, the cow had got runs around after I feed. No, that that's that does that's not correct, Mili. Um, check the structure, please. David, uh, the cow hadn't eaten after she didn't produce milk. All right, I mean that that is technically correct. Uh, the structure is correct. I do not understand the idea, but it's correct, I guess. I mean, you're saying la vaca no había comido después de que no había producido, uh, después de que no produjo leche. So, you see what I'm saying? Right? It is correct. The structure is fine, but the idea, right? I'm not understanding the idea. All right. Very good, guys. All right, guys. Good job. Um, keep practicing, guys. Okay. This is a very interesting topic, right? It's just a matter of practicing every day. Get together, guys, with someone, you know, get together with your with your couple guys, practice with them, you know, and you should be fine. Got it? Um, how do you like the class today, guys? It was fun. What's good? All right, very it's good. Nice. Yeah, guys. All right, uh, keep learning, guys, right? Do not miss class, guys, so you keep learning, all right? I mean, hey, in, teacher. all right, very good. Remember, guys, remember that that nothing, almost nothing is free in this in this world, world right? So you have the opportunity, guys, you know, to get advanced English and uh, not pay for it. So take advantage of it, okay? All right, si yo tuviera la chance de que me pagara clases de francés, guys, con todo, all right? But I don't, I tengo que pagar como 300 dollars. So take, the, take advantage, okay? See you guys, I have another class right now. Take care. Okay, teacher.